Do you think the RBA has to keep going, keep being aggressive, considering that inflation is still a little bit red hot down under? Well, absolutely. I think if you look at how the RBA has been moved compared to some other central banks, they started slowly. That means you need to go higher. And I think that's one of the key narratives. So wouldn't be surprised if policy rates go somewhere towards 4.5%. And I think in that entire process, I think the Aussie should be well bid. Doesn't Obviously, we need to take into consideration that the US Fed also is going to do a fair bit of additional hikes after the data. But overall, if you think about growth starting to trough globally in the first quarter. And if you think about at some point there's an end to Fed rate hikes, I think pro-growth currencies like the Aussie could actually find some uh, recovery here. So we're quite bullish. Speaking of the US dollar, I've got to ask you because there seems to be, you know, the belief at least at the very least now when you're looking at how the, the paper is pricing the Fed expectations. You know, we're looking at a terminal rate maybe 547. You've got more belief that the Fed's going to go higher for longer. But do you think that there could be, as some have started to suggest, even a six handle in front of the Fed funds right before we're done? Well, I think, first of all, we need to be a little bit humbled. I think everybody who is in the job of forecasting terminal rates uh, got their hands burned a little bit by <laughs> obviously these terminal rates shifting higher, uh, much higher. So I think that's starting point number one. But if you think about this, maybe too much seasonal noise in the data and we're going to see a little bit of a retracement back when it comes to uh, uh, the non-farm payrolls that we're going to get uh, basically by Friday. I think some of the expectation can start to cool a little bit. I think as it comes for the Fed, the Fed is going going to be completely data dependent. But uh, beyond that, think about it. We have raised quite a fair bit rates in nominal terms. Yes, in real rates, we haven't seen that much of a shift. But still, the nominal increase should weigh on activity. So it's just a question of time. The consumer is feeling it. You already have seen in Australia and other places where the consumer is basically not going to get their um, real wage increase. And I think that's going to weigh on activity down the road. So I think it's just a matter of time. I don't think we need to go to 6% at this point in time. But uh, I think it, the probability here is clearly not nil.